Hey everyone, we've been talking about lists and I've got an example here. We are a businessman, businesswoman who often travels for work and we're going to write a program to keep track of the cities that we travel to and we're going to keep track of those in a Python list. In a loop, the program is going to ask for a city and then ask how many times that we've visited that city and the program is going to replicate the city in the list that many times and when the loop stops the list contains an account of all the cities uh, which we've traveled to, to which we've traveled, that's a typo, and how many times. So for example um, we say well where did you travel? Enter blank to exit and we'll type in Chicago and then uh, we say uh, you know how many times did you travel to Chicago? Three times and then it asks well how many uh, or where did you travel to? London and we went there twice. Where did you travel? And then we enter blank and then it says you have traveled to the following cities and notice that Chicago, 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 right? Chicago appears three times and then London, London appears twice. So we're going to replicate lists and we are going to concatenate lists uh, in this example. Alright, so let's get started. We will begin by just saying, um, well I guess we could we could start by saying list of cities uh, whoops, underscore list of cities and we're going to just initialize it to the empty list because the idea is that we're going to keep concatenating to this list. So in order to concatenate to initialize the concatenation we need to initialize the list to empty. Then I'll say, I'll just kind of cheat and say while true um, while true and then um, we'll say uh, we'll ask for a city. City equals input and then we'll just follow the form above where did you travel right enter blank darn it, blank to exit All right. and then we're gonna we're gonna see right away is that city blank so if city equals equals then the uh, empty character there oops forgot colon then we're gonna break out of the loop right else then we need to do some things. So for, we're going to try to concatenate this to the empty list, but remember city is a string and so what I'm going to do is convert it to a list and I can just say city equals then put square brackets around the city. That's one way of doing it. Okay, so I've got that as a list and then I'm going to ask how many times did we travel to this city? So I'll, I'll just create a variable called times times equals input and we'll follow the format above how many times did you travel to and then I need to actually I want I want the city as a string at this point because I'm going to concatenate strings so I'm going to I'm going to move this um, conversion to list down one line so right now at this point on line 22 city is still a string that way I concatenate it to how many times did you travel to plus city and then I'll add the question mark and a space alright and then times will be a string here so I'm gonna convert times to an int so that I can replicate Good. Now I can convert city to a list and then I will say city with replicates or with reps I guess equals city times times like this. City now is a list and so when I say city asterisk times, times is an int that replicates the city that many times. So if Chicago was entered, city is Chicago as a list, then if three was entered, this would say now Chicago, Chicago, Chicago in a, in a list. That would be city with reps. Now what I want to do is concatenate city with reps with our currently empty list. So I will say list of cities and I can do plus equals here, plus equals because I'm concatenating it with itself then with city with reps like that. 
So just to be clear, again, this is the, uh, the, the slick way of writing the following. List of cities equals, then we're going to take that empty list of cities and then concatenate it with city with reps, like that. So these two lines, lines 28 and 29, are equivalent, and 28 is kind of the uh, slick way of doing that. So I'm just going to comment that out. All right, so we've we've got the concatenation there, and then we would go back up to the loop. So I think that is it. Now outside of the loop, I'm going to just follow the format above and say, you have traveled to the following cities, and then we're going to print list of cities. And let's uh, save it and run it and cross our fingers, right? All right, where did you travel? I'll type Chicago, I'll match the example, and then I'll put three, and then it asks me again, London, and I'll say two, and then it says, where did you travel? And I'll just hit enter here, entering blank, and then it says, you have traveled to the following cities, Chicago, 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 London, London, excellent. Now, if I really wanted to uh, make sure that this was v tested thoroughly, then I would give it a bunch of cases and make sure that it works properly. But for the interest of time, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to emphasize that if this was something that we were going to submit, then I would probably want to put my name on this author, and we can put last updated and put the date there. And then maybe we give this a description, right? Like um, make make a list of cities we've visited. Okay, so that's just a general comment there. Um, and then I'll fill in like break out of the loop, right? For the empty string, and then this will like convert times to int, and this this could be confusing, right, if you're not used to line 28, but so we want to, we want to comment that, definitely convert string to list, and this, this is interesting here, this is the replicating part, and then this is the concatenation part. So we, you know, we definitely want to put those comments there, and then out of our main, pr main loop, uh, our only loop, I guess, and then we will say print results. And that's it. So notice that I've blocked off my code very nicely, right? I've got some, some white space in between blocks that are similar, right? Like here we're handling times, so we've kept those lines together, and then we've uh, got some white space, and then here we're handling the city, and so we've kept those lines together. And, um, you know, with here we're printing the results, so we've kept those lines together. So we've used white space effectively. We've made our code readable. Um, we've got very descriptive variable names like times and city and city with reps and list of cities. And so at this point, I'm ready to submit. So I'll just do control S to save it. And I've got my um, file ready to go. I guess I should save this as a list example, not string example. But then, uh, then it's on my desktop, and I'm ready to submit it. And that's it. Thank you.